Folks, my name is Mark Nelson with Atma Hotel Group. We are at the Sheridan Chapel Hill for the ribbon cutting on October 20th. Please follow me, let me show you around. The hotel reopened up in uh, late September after about an 18 month renovation, top to bottom, totally reimagined. And for those folks that may have seen the Sheridan previously, knew it from its prior life, as you walk in today, you will not recognize the building. And this is part of a new concept that the Sheridan brand is introducing worldwide. We're one of 10 hotels across the world that have this new renovation design package. And I'll walk you in and show you some of the highlights. The lobby is designed to be the public square of the hotel. And by that I mean that it's a central gathering point. So everything will happen in the lobby. We'll have a coffee bar on the side here. And here you're able to get, again, breakfast, breakfast items, coffee, cappuccinos, all those types of drinks, uh, pastries and such in the morning. And then in the afternoon, they'll be able to do some just grab and go lunchtime items um, as we head this way. Again, just some sundries that are here for folks to, uh, to grab, single travelers or whoever. Um, as we enter on this side, and again, this kind of is the hive. So on this side, we have the coffee bar. On this side, we have the regular bar. And then as we look over into this area, this is the restaurant. Um, and again, the design is very intentional to try to keep everybody in one area. Um, and I actually experienced this at a, I was at a conference last week in Phoenix, uh, Sheraton Phoenix, and that was the, the prototype hotel for this renovation package look. And it was really interesting to see it in action. We had about a thousand attendees and again, the lobby was full. Everybody's using different spaces. Lots of really nice sitting areas. Let me show you the club lounge while we're right here. So this is a private lounge that's open for Marriott Bonvoy members. So that's kind of a preferred travel status. And what this is, again, so as you're able to, if you are in that preferred travel status or upgrade when you check into the hotel, you're able to use this space for kind of your private uh, morning breakfast and also in the evening, uh, cocktails and hors d'oeuvres. But this is a really beautiful space that, uh, lots of light. I really like the design concept. Again, it's uh, very residential. It just doesn't feel like a traditional type of hotel. We'll exit this way. We'll circle around. And then we have a fair amount of event space as well. So as we look on the wall in front of us, there's a small boardroom, which is called the Chancellor's Boardroom. It seats up to about eight people. We can put different chairs in and increase the size of that, but that's a really nice private boardroom. Uh, and then we have three other ballrooms that can seat upwards of anywhere from the, the smaller one up to about 150 or so, and then up to about 500 in our biggest ballroom. Um, I'm gonna show you the exercise area right around the corner is pretty cool. And I really appreciate this because I think sometimes the exercise areas are almost afterthoughts in hotels and they're jammed into smaller spaces that aren't designed ground up as a fitness center. At, as part of the renovations, we completely renovated 172 of our guest rooms, so they're all brand new with, again, the latest and greatest decor, bedding, technology, 
they all have stand-up desks that go up and down, so you can either have it as a small table or you can push a button and it rises up as a stand-up desk. Exercise room. And again, I think you'll see this is quite a bit larger and there's quite a bit more equipment than you'll typically find in a hotel exercise area. We have uh, the UNC men's football team staying here with us during home football games and they're really getting a, a, a good use out of this space. So it, uh, but this is nice again because I think folks who are looking for some, some action on uh, their Peloton, we got plenty of them. And I think as we talk about the renovation, these are the types of things that, that, um, that resonate with me as uh, kind of going above and beyond, doing more so than you maybe typically would have to. Uh, and that applies um, to some uh, COVID protocols that we put in place. So we've installed uh, HEPA filters in all of the public areas and in all of the guest rooms. So that air is circulated and clean. Hi, Melissa. Good, how about you? I'll catch up with you in just a second. Uh, other cool things that are in here that, again, are, are just unique. This is called a community table. So this is designed just for folks, again, a single traveler with their laptop, grabbing a cup of coffee to sit down, maybe with another single traveler. Um, but again, charging pads on the tables. You can even look at the bar. There's USB ports under the bar. All the lamps have USB charging ports. So, you know, instead of having to scramble around and find a plug, it's wired, so you don't have to do that. Over here, we've got a couple of small little glass areas, meeting rooms that we can use for small impromptu gatherings. So if somebody is um, having a you know, if there's something going on out here, I mean, we anticipate this to be fairly loud just because it's hard floor, hard ceiling. If someone needs to step away to make a quick phone call, that's what these little booths are for. You step in here, make a quick call. The other option is if someone gets out of control at the bar, then we're gonna, we'll put them in there for a few minutes and see if we can get them to settle down. <laughs> so we'll head over here into the ballroom area. And this will lead us down to the largest space in the hotel. And one of the things we did try to do, and I think you'll find, and it's uh, it's always for me, it's a um, it's frustrating when you go to a different city and the hotel doesn't speak to the city that it's in. So a lot of times I would travel to San Francisco and I could be in anywhere USA. Um, so we tried to bring in some of the local things that make Chapel Hill what it is. Um, you know, some of the bar city. You know, again, because we're, con we're, we're connected, we're committed. This is a, a locally owned company. It's locally run. And, um, you know, we're in this for the long haul. We want to be here um, to service the community. So as we move in here, this will take us into the ballroom area. We'll see it in action here. Um, okay, so this is a, a space that is subdividable, so we can use it as one big space, or we can subdivide it into smaller sections based on what the need is. Um, we'll take a walk over here, take a look at some of the, the items. This is set up as a um, kind of a juice bar. Uh, and then we have a smoked salmon station where folks are, look like they've been a little too shy, no one's touched it yet. What do we have in here? Oh, latkes, potato latkes. Uh, let's leave the chef over here. Here we have our 
chef Donovan Campbell, oh. who is the, the master putting all this together. So we'll be carving some ham here. Um, but he's just done an amazing job in, in really, you'll see some of the food shots pop up here we did for a photo shoot. Sausage sandwich. I think we're going to have some leftovers for lunch today. Oh, I'm eating those. What is that? Spinach and crab benedict. I'm just going to put those under the table so they're left when this is over. Turkey bacon, regular bacon. So that's uh, again. This this is a, a, a very multi multi use space that we can. You know, it could be for receptions, could be for meetings. Uh, we'll do a bunch of weddings in here. We just uh, scheduled a couple of Christmas parties for this year, which is great. I think we're uh, we're excited to get um, you know just to see people and have people come back out and socialize. You know, and just to, to be able to um, just to get out and and do what we do. So uh, we're anxious and hopeful that um, you know. We're on the tail end of this, and we can start to get back to, to normal um, maybe by the end of this year or in the first quarter. So, but this hotel, again, you know, it's been here for a long time. It, it de definitely serves a purpose in this marketplace, um, and I think it's really important that we have this hotel in the market um, because of the amount of the limited amount of full service properties that are available in Chapel Hill. And especially ones that are mid-priced. So I think this is going to help folks be able to to do events and maybe not have to travel out into Durham or some of the other areas because of the need for a full service mid-priced hotel. So we're we're excited to um, you know to kind of have this hotel open. The renovation was um, again extensive and quite. You know, timing of it was serendipitous at all. We took it over in May of 19, and then with the intention to renovate it, and COVID hit, and then, so if there's ever a time to shut a hotel down, that was the time. Um, so that's about it. Again, we're excited. We've got a great staff, and uh, excited to kind of get things going and rolling, and get more people here and show off the hotel.